Hello, Heather the Painter here again, and in the first video you saw the difference between File Clone and File Quick Clone, the very powerful cloning engine of Corel Painter 12. Now that we've already done our File Quick Clone with the preferences set up to what I personally like to use, we can go ahead and take another closer look at the Clone Source palette. Now this is brand new to Painter 12 and is amazing to work with. It's very easy. You just have to understand what a few of these little shapes mean. So on the very bottom, it looks like a floppy disk. If we click on this, if we click on it, there we go, we can see that we can open up other clone sources or images that we want to pull our information from. It will show what's automatically opened up in Painter, which we can see our original prep files already open in the background. Right now we are on our painting. We can trash any of our current clone sources and start fresh however we would like. However, I really don't ever use this option. And what's also nice too in Painter 12 is we have the ability to expand and resize our palettes. So you'll notice when you're, when you're cloning, it's important to make sure that you're cloning from your image if you're wanting to pull source information from a separate file. Now that we've got our tracing paper turned on to zero, remember command control T. Command T for Mac, Control T for PC, will allow us to see what's actually on our canvas. If we hit that again, we activate our tracing paper to see our original image. So we can see I've made a huge mess of our canvas right now, but that's okay because we're going to fix it here. What I love to do is either work with oils brushes, a lot of my custom brushes, or some of the cloning brushes. So I'm going to pick up Cloner. And just to show you how cool this feature is, we're going to go to Flat Oil Cloner. I'm going to bump up my feature a little bit so I can speed this brush up. There we go. So what cloning actually does is it allows you to pull source information from one image and then apply it with that current paintbrush in your painting. So we're applying our flat oil cloner brush attributes to this painting. So instead of painting with color, we're technically painting with an image. If we ever wanted to switch back and forth between putting color down and actually putting image down, we simply go up to our color wheel and click on this little clone stamp icon and you'll see that my color wheel turns into a bright vibrant color. We can always revert back to cloning with our brushes by either clicking U on the keyboard or clicking that clone stamp icon again. Let me pick up another brush to show you how much fun this can be. Now if we pick up, I'm going to go to Artists and the Impressionist brush, and this is a favorite. If we click on the Clone Stamp icon to make it a cloner brush, you can see that it's pulling up the source file information, but applying that brush's stroke features to it. So instead of getting that nice kind of smeary flat oil look, we're now getting a really cool separated, impressionistic, multiple brush stroke feel to it. Now it's important to know that any brush in Painter can be used as a cloner brush. All you simply have to do is click on your clone stamp icon and get painting.